Hey, what is going on? Uh, so in that last video I was just doing, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I think my phone actually overheated. Uh, it's a little on the warm side here today and stopped recording. So I was going to do all this in one video. Unfortunately, that did not happen. So I split it up into two. Um, the video for the seats should already be uploading. And now on the, apparently this is uh, part two, is helmets. So I got a new helmet for this season. This is my old helmet here. It's an HJC FG17. Uh, and this is my new one. It's the Sidichi Strata 2 in forged carbon. Uh, this is a limited edition helmet. So apparently, I, I, my understanding is they're only making 2,000 of these. Uh, so what they come with is this one came with uh, the drawstring bag. My HAC also did. Uh, the difference is this one, and I, I kind of hate to say it, but I feel like my HJC bag uh, actually feels like better quality than what this one from Sidichi does. Although this one, it, it's as far as like the inside of the bags go, they're, they're both kind of the same. They're both the same like sort of, it's almost like a felt, but not quite. So that's one thing uh, to keep in mind. One of the other things is when I bought this helmet, uh, that's, that's all that it came with was just that drawstring bag. This one comes with the drawstring bag. It also comes with an actual bag, um, a, a nice little carrying bag that you can put this in the drawstring and then put it in the other bag and have a nice a nice little bag to carry it with um the other thing too is this comes in a gold box which is actually it, it looks kind of cool um just to give you an idea so as far as the two helmets go uh this is what i've been using for my vlogs and grab my mount which is right here so essentially you can see right here so the mount just slides in and then my GoPro on top, uh, I'm using it to record right now, but then the GoPro goes on top of that. But you can see that the GoPro would be here, so it sits kind of off center. One of the other things with this is depending on, on how you have the angle on it or the swing of the arm, um, it'll actually interfere with opening and closing the visor. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to my new mount and We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I ordered it from a company called Chin Mounts, so I'll be checking that out once it actually arrives. It should be coming this week. So now on to the two helmets. Um, they're both pinlock ready. As you can see, they both have the the little knobs for the pinlock on them. Uh, they both have your uh, open and close chin mounts on them, or I'm sorry, chin vents. So, and they both have. Uh, open and close vents up here on the top. So these are actually a two position vent. Uh, that's closed, that's position one, and then position two. So as far as that goes, you know, I mean, they're helmets. So that's to be expected. One of the other things I wanna hit on real quick between the two, um, they are both DOT rated helmets obviously uh, they kind of have to be the one main difference is this Sidichi helmet it's an ECE rated helmet it is the 22-05 rating on it uh, this is the HJC is not it is Snell approved though so it, it has a different safety rating to it uh, this is also an older helmet I've had it for a while uh, if you can see it's actually the um, leather leatherette whatever you'd like to call it is actually peeling so versus this one which is all nice and new still so this i did actually add a cargo onto which is something i wish i did on this one a long time ago because it's great having music um the one the one thing is uh this actually doesn't have it there's cutouts well they're they're not a cutout but they're an indent in the foam to actually be able to put the speakers into this one does have them. I do have the speakers in there. Uh, and they actually have 
uh, little holes in the fabric to to help allow the sound through. So that's what uh, what we have going on here. One thing is this also has the drop down visor in it, which is great. I wear glasses, so having to carry two pairs of glasses, having to carry a regular pair of glasses and a pair of sunglasses, it, not a fan of. Uh, one thing with helmets with drop down, some of them, I, I did actually try quite a few on, is this, the drop down in the helmet will actually catch your glasses as you close it. It'll it'll hit your glasses. Some of them you might not be able to, uh, to close all the way. So that is something to keep in mind if you have glasses and wear a helmet. One of the other things is this has the... Uh, uh, the little chin piece here, I don't remember what it's called, but the little chin piece here, the HJC does not. So going down the road, uh, this is actually significantly quieter. I don't know if it has to do with just the age of helmets or if it's to do with just having that, that little chin piece in there, but it makes a huge difference. Uh, and cruising down the road, uh, down the highway anyways, is uh, so much better with this. Um, like even with uh, with the cardo on, I don't have to have the volume all the way up to be able to hear it. I don't have to have it even work anywhere close to having the volume all the way up to be able to hear it. So, so as far as wind noise goes, uh, this is great, and uh, just wanted to to give everybody let them know what was going on. Uh, like I said, this is what I've been using for vlogging. Um, I still have to pull my mic out of this, move it over to this one. I'm going to try using this as my new vlog helmet as well. So I'm just waiting for my new mount. Like I said, it's from a company called Chin Mounts. So, uh, and it'll be mounted right down, right down here. So we'll have to, you know, check the fit and, and see how it goes. But that's that's where we're at. I really like the coloring on it. Um, I, I like the mat. I like the color. This is how this helmet comes. It also comes with a clear shield as well, but I'm, uh, I'm really digging this. I don't think it would look quite right having a clear shield on here, especially with all the other colored accents on it. Um, again, airflow is absolutely fantastic on this helmet. Uh, it, it is a lot cooler than my HJC was. The vents, at least, they're very close to the same size. One of the biggest differences, though, is um, the vents from the chin right here actually have bigger openings. There, There's three on both, but the third one on my JC is kind of useless. It really doesn't do much. So, uh, padding. Padding's a lot nicer, and actually one of the things I really like about this, and one of the things I don't, is on the D-rings here, so you have your little tab here, but this piece right here, how it comes down on the strap versus what this is, it, it's longer on, G, on the Sinichi than it is on this HAC, which is nice because then you don't have the strap actually rubbing on you. Um, but I like this one because it actually has, it, it says HJC on it and it's got something nice you can actually grab onto. As far as the actual snaps go to, uh, snap it snap it closed once you once you have it through your d-rings there snaps are pretty much the same um there's not really a huge difference in quality but the the padding in general 